morning guys and welcome to a new vlog as i mentioned in the last vlog that i put up on my channel which i'm gonna pop here if you guys haven't checked it out already i thought that i'd bring you guys along with me and kind of share a peek into my life a little bit more now that i am working freelance and working for myself so that's what i figured i would do this week i'm actually off to new zealand on thursday so i probably will only do three days of this week i know i've had a few questions about what it's like working as a freelancer and i'm sure a lot of you had questions about my previous job as a publicist so if you want i was thinking maybe i could do a career q a or something like that so if you have any specific questions drop them in the description box below okay i think she stopped me eyeing now every single time i went to talk she'd stop meowing at me uh, so the second thing I want to mention is that I am going to do vlogmas this year. I'm going to post every second day rather than every single day. And just because I kind of want to ease myself into it. I've never done this before. So it's all going to be very new. And I think it's going to be a bit of a mixture between very casual vlog style videos like this and then proper sit down videos so if you've got any specific requests for christmasy kind of content you want to see then let me know but spoiler alert i am going to be ordering our christmas tree online so that's one thing that i won't be featuring in uh my christmas vlogs so um as I think I mentioned before, today is Monday. I've just been getting through a bit of work and actually a parcel arrived. So I thought I would unbox it with you guys. Now, this part of the video is sponsored by iHerb and I've been shopping there for years. I have a little bit of a thing for American candy and American chocolates and stuff. So I used to go on there, order PB and Co peanut butter, which is amazing. If you haven't tried it, the maple one is really good and they have a chili one. Uh, but the reason why I placed this order was because I wanted to try some of their organic skincare range so I'm definitely trying to make a bit of a shift with my own skincare routine and I thought that this would be a really great way to sort of incorporate it and test it out so I'm going to show you guys what I got I did order this recently it came really quickly I did express shipping so let me just grab the box here and we can start uh, going through everything together so this is what is inside the box and you can see i went pretty ham so i got a bunch of stuff from insta natural which i'm going to talk you guys through and then i also got some grocery bits which i'll share afterwards so let me just set my camera down okay i think this might be the best way to show you guys so i'll go through product by product and actually the first thing that i picked up was the dead sea mud mask from insta natural and this to me seemed really intriguing. So this has got pure mud in it from the Dead Sea, which is great. And the whole purpose of this is that it helps to restore your skin, get rid of blackheads, blemishes, acne, that kind of thing, and withdraw those impurities, which is something I desperately need. I have had really bad skin recently and I've always been really, really fortunate and really lucky with my skin that I never got terrible acne, but I don't know what it is. I particularly got them along my jawline, which I believe is hormonal, but I've been getting them here as well, which is very new for me. So I thought this would be a great one to try. So this is what the packaging looks like. And then it's just one of those really dark charcoal mud masks. So I cannot wait to try that. Maybe I'll try it with you guys tonight. Then the second thing that really caught my eye was the natural deodorant. Now, I made the switch to natural deodorant probably about 12 months ago, and I have to say it was a painful process, uh, and I'm so glad that I did though. This is what it looks like. It's one of those twist up ones, which this will be great because I've just run out, and it's got lavender citrus extract and sage oil. I bet you this smells amazing. Oh, it does smell really good. It smells sort of floral, but citrusy at the same time. Can't wait to start using that. Then the next thing I got, but I did get a lot, I got this glycolic cleanser. So this has glycolic acid, cucumber extract, organic chamomile, and green tea extract in it. So essentially the glycolic acid is going to help exfoliate your skin, but in a really gentle way and help to reduce dullness and sort of brighten the skin and also soften it up too. And I like that this comes in a little pump, so also going to be throwing that into my routine but i'm going to be switching things up a lot then i've got a moisturizer this is a vitamin c moisturizer and it's got aloe vera uh, and it's got aloe vera niacinamide hyaluronic acid and sunflower seed oil in it so the combination of ingredients in this essentially provide antioxidant protection and help support healthy collagen production. It's really good to see hyaluronic acid in there. That's obviously something that helps your skin to absorb more moisture. So I think this would be a good one item to have 
oily but dehydrated skin so I always look for things that are going to boost my skin's moisture levels so there's that one and then we have got the Insta Natural Age Defying and Skin Clearing Toner now this one again it's got niacinamide in it it's also got tea tree oil which I find is really effective especially when you're trying to combat blemishes something that as I mentioned I have been struggling with so this is what the bottle looks like and it does come with a little pump as well so that'll be really handy and I think you can just spritz this one onto your skin so that will be good and I use that before I put on serums and, and uh, oil then the final product that I got from Insta Natural is the glycolic peel and this was something that I kind of got because I wanted to have that salon experience at home. So this has glycolic acid, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid and soothing extracts. So essentially what it's going to do is act as a chemical exfoliant and help to um, kind of get rid of that top layer of your skin and reveal the kind of fresh renew skin underneath so this one comes with a little pump as well and this one here you just apply it a thin layer on cleanse skin so i'm not sure exactly what i'm going to use tonight i've got a bunch of things here maybe i might do the mask and then also just go through the uh three step cleansing routine here so cleanser toner and moisturizer so I will show you guys those tonight and share a little bit more about my thoughts on them. Then let's just go through all of the food because I got quite a bit. Okay, I heard so much about these that I had to buy them. These are Sheila G's Brownie Brittle and this is the Salted Caramel. Okay, I'm lactose intolerant but I still eat chocolate. I know I shouldn't and I'm trying to cut back on it but I couldn't resist. So I think these are going to be really tasty. I might actually have one now. Why not? Mm, mm -hmm. mm. These are good. Oh my god. It's like a brownie biscuit with caramel in it. Mm. Mm. Next I got some marshmallows. So these are Smashmallow Coconut Pineapple thought they sounded really interesting, almost like pina colada flavored marshmallows. Then I grabbed some organic Turkish figs. I really like these. I thought they would be good to add to my breakfast. I usually have oats, but I thought I might mix things up with some muesli. Oh, these are my favorite corn chips. These are the Red Hot Blues corn tortilla chips. They're blue corn corn chips from Garden of Eaton, which is the best name for a corn chip brand. Sorry, Charlotte's <laughs> wandering around. Oh, okay, these look really good. Dark chocolate coconut buttercup. So this was my vegan uh, treat of choice. And then I got two things of peanut butter. So the first one I got was from PB and Co, which I mentioned this before. This is my favorite peanut butter brand that I've tried from the US. I love all the flavors. The chili one is great if you're making uh, curries and things. Mighty Maple I thought would be a really good addition to my oats. And then I also just got a tub of Justin's Classic Peanut Butter because this is really, really tasty. So that is my iHerb haul. Actually, if you guys have got any suggestions for things that I should buy off iHerb, please let me know in the comment section below because I know I've only really scratched the surface of things that I can buy from there. And I mean, like I've done quite a few orders, so I tend to go back to the same things over and over again. So suggestions would be welcome. Anyway, um, I should probably get into some work now. So I will check in with you guys a bit later on. So I thought I'd show you guys what I am wearing today for accessories, which you might have seen this in the earlier clip. I am wearing these really beautiful earrings and matching necklace. These are from Pandora. They're sterling silver and then they have a pearl on them, which I just think is gorgeous. I love the design. 
very, very classic and simple. Now the top is kind of a newer addition to my wardrobe. It's just a really simple tank from Chosen by Tachuzzi. It has an almost square neckline, which I like. I think it's really flattering. It's a ribbed fabric. I don't know if you can actually tell the texture, but it's slightly ribbed. Very, very fitted. I'm wearing the extra small for reference. Then the skirt that I'm wearing is my ASOS faded black denim skirt. I've got my Isabel Morant belt on. And then on my feet, I am wearing my ATP Atelier sandals, which I just adore. I love them. So there you go. Full outfit of the day. By the way, I thought I'd show you my new plant. Now, I seem to be a little bit obsessed with acquiring new plants for our house. This is our new fiddle leaf fig. I do have one out the front, which I'm currently trying to grow tall, but I thought this would be a nice one to get for the study. So I haven't actually gotten a proper pot for it. I've just got a little tray so that water can drip out the bottom, but I think it looks really good. I actually just got this one from Bunnings. Uh, they had some really nice looking ones. formula and it feels really nice on your skin it isn't overly scented or anything like that and as you can see it lathers, it lathers up really nicely so I quite like this it didn't leave my skin feeling really dry or anything but it just felt very clean then I use the mud mask now this has a really interesting texture I've never really felt anything like it I've done quite a few different types of mud masks so it sort of has a jelly like texture to it it's really thick and quite wet but it dries down really nicely and it does kind of give your skin that tight feeling I could definitely see that it worked its magic like some oh sorry <laughs> I could definitely see it sort of had worked some of its magic like I have a little spot here um, and I definitely noticed that that was a little bit kind of a little bit redder which I find happens after I use the mud mask so hopefully overnight I'll kind of notice that that'll go down a little bit so that'll be good. Then I use the Age Defying and Skin Clearing Toner. I really like the fact that this is in a spray bottle actually and rather than in a bottle that you have to use cotton pads or something like that for. So definitely going to be keeping this one in my routine. It's also in a glass bottle as well. So that's pretty neat. And then the final product that I used was the Vitamin C Moisturizer. Now, I really love the scent of this. It sort of smells like mandarin and it's got a really lightweight consistency. So I've been using a gel moisturizer and it's not the best for layering underneath makeup. So I think this is probably going to become my new everyday moisturizer. It feels like a really good option for spring summer. So that's kind of me for this evening. Luke and I are probably going to watch something now. Uh, probably Love It All Listed Australia and then Grand Designs. We recently watched Bodyguard on Netflix. And I have to say it's probably one of the most flawless series I've seen recently. Highly recommend if you haven't watched it yet. And we also need to start watching House of Cards because we haven't gotten into that either. So those are kind of on our watch list right now. If you have any other Netflix series or anything like that that you recommend, please throw them in the comments. Anyway, I will see you guys tomorrow. Morning guys, so it's Tuesday. I'm just finishing writing a blog post and then after that I've got to work on a proposal that I need to send out this week uh, just for essentially a consulting role that I might be doing. So that's kind of exciting and if that happens then I might be able to talk to you guys a little bit more about it. Uh, then I also need to film a video today so that's kind of the other main thing I want to do. Uh, aside from that I'm probably just going to be doing a lot of admin work. I need to return something to the post office 
that sort of thing. So that'll be me today. I should probably stop nettering on and get stuck into it. Um, I also thought I would share my outfit with you guys. And this is a dress that I got. It was inspired by Brittany Bathgay. I really love her style. I'm not really sure if this is 100% me, but it's a pretty easy one to throw on, especially when it's warm. So this is a dress from Frankie's store. And the thing I really liked about it is the tie-up detail on the shoulders. I thought that that was really unique. It's sort of an apron style midi dress and then it has these slits here and i don't know if you can hear that but there is a bit of a texture it almost has a bit of a nylon feel to the fabric so it kind of reminds me of something that you might wear if it was raining on my feet i'm wearing my segerson morrison sandals these are really cool i love the kind of angular nature of that strip across your foot i just think they look really interesting and unique with all of my outfits day now I finished working on my business proposal which is good because that's one more thing out of the way I've also filmed my video which you probably will have seen a cutaway of I've had lunch I actually sat down in the sun for a little bit to read through a chapter of altered carbon I've kind of been trying to make the time for myself every day just to have a break because I'm the sort of person who works through lunch and then I end up working till seven and uh, I am going to get burnt out if I keep doing that. Um, so I thought I'd actually maybe quickly give you a peek into my wardrobe. Tomorrow I'm gonna to be packing for my trip to New Zealand. So what I think I'll do is I'll set you up tomorrow so I can guide you through my packing process. But I thought I'd just give you a quick overview of my wardrobe because as I mentioned, it has changed a little bit. So I recently gave my wardrobe a massive declutter. So I don't know what it is about the change in season, but it always makes me feel a little bit restless with my wardrobe. And I feel as though maybe I kind of lost my way on my wardrobe journey, on my style journey, because I've got a very clear idea on my mind of what I want my outfits to look like every single day. Maybe it's the climate I live in because Sydney, it's so hot right now and all I can think about wearing are tube tops and denim shorts. Uh, not exactly style worthy. Um, but yeah, I gave my wardrobe a bit of a refresh and a rejig and it's looking very monochrome now, a little bit less colorful than it was before. But I thought I'd give you a little bit of a peek inside uh, so you can see its current state. So we've got my little sweater section and denim section here. That hasn't really changed, it's more just a uh, I guess the organization of it changes slightly. The thing that probably changed the most were my section of tops because I had a lot more color in here and that's really where I decided to remove some items. And you can see how many hangers I've got here uh, from stuff that I removed. I also gave this bottom section a little bit of a refresh as well. And there were a couple of items that I just moved into storage that were more, uh, I guess, sentimental pieces. And then here, you can kind of see again, it's pretty monochromatic now. I've just got my very colorful, uh, what do you call this, dressing gown. And then in the drawers, I'd say this is all fairly, fairly monochromatic. A little bit of pink and a little bit of tan in there. And again, down here. So that's just a pretty good peek. If you're wondering where I put all my swimsuits, here at the back of my sweaters here. <laughs> and then I didn't show you this in my wardrobe tour, but this is kind of like what my pajama and gym drawer looks like so it's very messy it's just sort of folded on each other so this is my pajama section this is my workout gear over here then let's walk you through so one thing i am thinking about doing is maybe putting some of my coats into storage because I'm not really going to be wearing them for a while and they kind of make this rail look pretty full. I want to have a, a bit less on here. It just kind of stresses me out a little bit. So I am planning on doing some sort of autumn winter styling videos for you guys who are in the Northern Hemisphere. So I want to keep a few of them out, but I think there are probably some that I can tuck away for the next sort of four to five months or so. See, so that's kind of the state of my wardrobe right now. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna get back into it. I wanna edit that video and I've got some emails and things that I need to get to. So um, I will see you guys a bit later on. Oh, that is very bright. Um, I'm actually just about to take Nigel out for a run. We've run about four or five Ks 
probably three times a week at the moment. I've been trying to do a lot more exercise, especially with summer coming up. And the good thing is now that I'm kind of working for myself is that I have the flexibility to go when it's optimal time of the day. So right now it's about quarter to five. So it started to cool down a lot. It's still warm out and it's still bright. And uh, I've got a little bit of time for Luke gets home and I also want to put on some roasted vegetables before he arrives home tonight. Um, maybe I'll show you what I'm wearing for when it's really hot. If you're ever wondering the kind of thing, I do have to tie my hair up this too. But I'm wearing my girlfriend collective bra. If you can see Nigel, he's so funny. Um, I'm wearing these country road shorts i've had these for a couple of years now uh, but they're really good they've got a little pocket at the back and then my shoes oh, are my old nike freeze i've been wearing them for years i really do need to replace them i would wear my uh, all birds but because they are wool they're really really hot and i know my feet would just get a little bit too toasty so yeah um so i might wrap things up for the day here and i'll see you guys tomorrow morning It is Wednesday. I've just been wrapping up a bit of work and I thought maybe now I would pack for my trip to New Zealand. So I thought I would show you guys the process. I sort of started to map out a little bit last night what I wanted to bring with me. I had a look at the forecast and to me, it looks cold. I'm sure if I lived in Wellington, I would have said very, very differently, but essentially it's like autumn weather for me. So I'm gonna be looking at taking knitwear, um, jeans, trousers, and probably a light jacket too, because it's gonna be raining on the second half of the trip. I only want to take two pairs of shoes with me, so we can see how that goes. Uh, but the first thing I need to do is actually pull my suitcase out of the wardrobe. <laughs> Okay, so this is the suitcase I'm going to take with me. As I mentioned before, it's from Away, and this is the smaller carry-on size. I'm away six days technically, but for full days, so this should be more than enough. I like to take a carry-on when I'm traveling for less than a week. Let's just open this up so I can show you guys inside. I would actually like to take a tripod with me, but I don't think it'll fit in here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I actually really like this as a carry-on because it's got all the compartments. I really love this little section. It's great for putting your laptop in if you are carrying a smaller bag. So, if I go over here to my notebook, you can see I've sort of started to map it out. So, I've got some tops here that I would like to take. The two bags I'm going to take, my Kuriana tote and my little Zodiac bag, which is actually the same as I took last trip. I've got two pairs of shoes, both dark colours, because I figured they would be easiest. A couple of accessories. I thought it would be a good idea to bring my scarf with me. And then these are all the bottoms. So I'm kind of thinking about maybe bringing another sweater with me. Maybe another t-shirt just to have in case I want to get changed. Okay, I thought it might be easier to talk to you guys this way. So in terms of what I have locked in for the trip, I'm going out for dinner with one of my girlfriends. I've got a brunch locked in, a coffee date. I'm gonna visit my godmother. Uh, and most of the time I'll be spending with my grandparents. That is sort of what I've got planned. So very, very relaxed. So I kind of know I just wanna be comfortable in what I'm wearing, but I need to have at least one outfit that is gonna be nice enough for going out. Uh, maybe I should just start going through my wardrobe and pulling out the things that I've got on my list to take with me so I'm gonna figure out the best way to kind of set you guys up <laughs> all right so I guess the first thing I'm gonna pull out is all the tops so I've got three kind of tops and two knitwear pieces that I want to take with me um, one. got my redone black tee This 
little black tank from to choose here. I was wearing the white one the other day. Then I've got my Comme de Garçon tea, which is an oldie. I recently <laughs> rediscovered that. And then for knitwear, I'm going to take my ivory cashmere. And then I want to take something that I can wear as a sweater, but also as a cardigan. So I thought that this little Veta cardigan would be a really good option. I, you guys have probably seen this, but I kind of love how it looks just worn as a cardigan. I thought it would be a great option to throw over my outfit if it got cold. Then I feel like I probably, it would be a good idea to take another top and actually I want to take something with a bit of colour. So I might take my little Breton stripe top from Bowden. I use the Marie Kondo method of folding everything in case you're wondering and I tend to keep all of my items in my suitcase packed the same way. It makes it really easy to find things. Otherwise rolling is a great method. Then I might just take, maybe should I take another top? I mean, maybe what I could do is take this little silk blouse from Everlane. At least if it's warm, I can wear this and then I might just take a sweater. This is way more than I need for the amount of time that I'm away, but I figure better to be safe on the safe side of these things and I might just take so I might just take a little grey sweatshirt from Tradlands with me so that is all of my tops okay it doesn't really look like that much when I put it all here then I want to take a dress let me go grab it from the other room Okay, so this is a recent addition to my wardrobe. You guys will have seen this in my Black Friday haul. It is a polka dot dress from ASOS. And I love the long sleeves and the little ties. I just think it's really fun. Not that I really needed more polka dots in my wardrobe. I kind of have a problem. But I really love the fit of this. And I actually am kind of hoping that it comes out in a white or something like that too. Because I think that would be really lovely for uh, spring summer season. Then I want to take some trousers with me. And uh, I've really been loving these ones from forecast so I thought I would pack those in my suitcase they're quite nice and high waisted so had a multitude of sins great as well if you're eating a lot then my Farley mom jeans from ASOS I've been enjoying whipping these out again they're just a nice little classic I might insert a photo on the screen of what they look like then another pair of jeans I've really been enjoying wearing are my Levi's so I've been reaching for these quite a bit. They're sort of stretched out now that I've worn them and I cut the ankles because they were slightly too long on me. I kind of like it when there's about this much at the bottom of my jeans. So they've got frayed hems, which I think is pretty cool. And then I want to take a skirt as well. And I was thinking, I haven't really worn my leather skirt much this season, so I might take this. It'll be good for when it's slightly warmer. Like I said, I've got way too many options, but I'd rather just have choice. I do have the space in my suitcase as well, so why not? So yeah, that's my little skirt. And then I want to take a jacket with me. So I'm thinking of taking a checked option, and this one sort of felt like a nice one. I thought this would look, I mean, obviously it would look really cute with the leather skirt, but then it would also look great just worn with these jeans and I could wear it with maybe that little tank for going out for dinner. So I'll pop that in my suitcase. And then I need a jacket for on the plane. So I need something that's gonna be slightly waterproof. So I might take my trench coat, which is from Everlane. I actually am thinking about investing in the Burberry one and on selling the Everlane one uh, because I really want something that is super timeless, has a little bit more structure because the Everlane one's quite soft. So if any of you own a Burberry trench, can you please let me know in the comments if it is worth the splurge because it's a lot of money. It's definitely something I wouldn't be buying until next year, but it's been on my mind for a while. So <laughs> I'm just going to grab that too. Yeah, so my little trench and then my accessories. Yeah, I'll go grab those and then I'll start popping everything in and I'll show you guys how my suitcase looks when it is all full.
All right, so it is all packed now. So over here, I've got the outfit that I'm gonna wear on the plane. So I've got my Everlane trench, my Tradland sweater, and my ASOS Valley Mom jeans, and also have my Vanelli pumps. Then you can see here, I've sort of rolled everything up. So my Veta sweater is at the very top. I've got my Valentinos here, and then everything else is sort of folded up here. So I can pretty easily spot it. And then on the other side, and I might put my laptop in here, I'm not sure yet. I've got my little carry case. This is from the Daily Edited. Honestly, one of the best things that I bought for travel. Highly recommend if you guys are thinking about getting it. Great dupe for the um, Anya Hindmarsh one as well. Then we've got my little Zodiac bag, my GHD because I need to be able to do my hair. And then I've also got my blazer and my trousers and jeans on this side. So that is the overview. I get the feeling that this is going to be a really long video. So I think what I'm going to do is wrap things up here. Thank you guys again so much for watching, getting a little bit more of a peek into my life and also packing with me for my trip. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you next time with a new one. See you soon. Bye.